Hello, hi everybody. I am Ram Mohan. I am working as head of electronics department at Government Polytechnic, Mahabur Nagar. The subject we are dealing here is the basic electrical and electronics engineering. The topic is inductors and transformers. The subtopic for this current session of discussion is the yeah. types of core materials used at the different frequencies and different ranges. The objectives of this topic are on the completion of this session you will be able to know the types of different core materials that are used and the differences between and at a different frequencies. So the types of core materials used at different frequencies. Now let us recap the topics that we have discussed so far relevant for our discussion here. So what is a core? Core is core is the supporting material. So what is a core? What is a core? A core is a supporting material on which the winding wire is wound. Then what is the need of the core? Yes. So the need of the core is to reduce the leakage flux that is there within the core when it is working. Then what type of core materials are used for making coils and transformers? Uh, probably yes, we have actually discussed these things in detail also but let us just recap what they are. The core materials used for making coils and the transformers are air core, iron core and ferrite cores. So let us see what we have seen under air core. So these are different types of air core inductors that are available in the market and uh, here you can see that there are cores with single turns, single layer of turns and then multi layer and of different diameters, different thickness of the wires and on the extreme right we could see that there is one inductor having a metal ribbon sort of a wire. So yes, so depending on some specific applications the cores are designed particularly to achieve or to meet the requirements of that particular application. Maybe the frequency, maybe the inductance, so on. So, so many factors that are of design constraints. So, here we let us see some single layer winding coils. Yeah, their inductors are mostly called as coils. Yeah, you can see these arrows, they are pointing at the inductor that are having only one layer of windings only one layer then here there are some more things that are multi layer in the figure could you identify them on the extreme left in the middle yes on the extreme left of the screen yeah so these arrows are indicating the inductors that are of multi layer windings So this is one more thing that is actually with RF coil winding without any core that is again of air core that is no core but that is for oil RF coil applications. Now let us see next air core inductors. What is there inside the core? Air. So there is nothing inside the core. The strength itself has to be gained to stand in its diameter and the position. It has to be gained due to the design or the thickness of the wire that is used for winding. So wire has to be sufficiently thick and there is nothing inside the winding that is air. So this is air core. Then iron cores. Iron is a ferromagnetic material and is 
commonly used as the core material for the making mains power transformer and also some iron cores for some specific applications so iron is a ferromagnetic material and is commonly used as a core material for making mains power transformers so this iron core we'll see some more models that are practically available in the market or the field of electronics yeah let us see few yes so these are few types of iron core inductors the left one is an inductor again you have on the right side there is a bobbin type of iron core and at the bottom also you can see there is one there is screw fitted and actually this iron core that is normally not a solid rod or a solid sheet or a block of iron that will be used because there are some other losses that will result due to the high frequency that is flowing into the coils so that will result in some eddy current losses and some other things which actually cause some losses in the inductor coil and hence to reduce those things you can see there is screw fitted on that and that is not a single block so that will be sheets of iron piece stacked into a block so these actually are called as laminated iron core material so this is all iron core iron core inductors now powder iron core so this is another type of core that is generally used in the practical field so the powder iron cores are made by subjecting a mixture of powdered iron dust and an insulating cement to high pressure in the molds so it is a iron powder actually not the rod or sheet that is used powder is actually used and you also use some insulating cement then there are high high pressure molds are used so that cement and powder they get solidified into a core of the re of the required shape and the sizes can be a cylindrical rod or a rectangular block or a square whatever it is and then what happened well there are advantages when we go into the design content we'll understand those things so this type of powdered iron cores are also used in the market and here you can see one model over there yes here it is so it is a coil mounted on a powder iron core so which is actually manufactured using high pressure molding techniques now let us see some ferrite core conductors how they are and all so these are different types of ferrite cores here we can see one is a rod one is a ring one is a toroidal the other one is different different shapes are they based on the different design requirements in the field and at very, very different frequencies so that's around the previous one what we have seen is a ferrite rod it is rod or a simple rod cylindrical rod then here we can see something else a ferrite or ring type so again in the ring there are different shapes the left one is called as toroidal type of core and right one is a normal rectangular type of ei model and there is another one on the right, smaller one on the right side so they are called as that is bobbin type of ferrite core now let us see what they are made up of so ferrite is a magnetic material produced from powdered mixture of iron oxide and an oxide of divalent metal iron so this becomes a ferrite rod and which is very good material that is used in the field of electronics for manufacturing of core and inductor cores and sometimes in the transformers as well nowadays latest technology we use different techniques so they are also used for transformers nowadays so here let us see the core materials that are used at different frequencies the core materials used at different ranges are given below that means what for different frequencies we have different core materials 
which will work efficiently for meeting our requirements to achieve the required inductance and so on and then let us see how so for laminated iron so the first one what we have discussed next to iron core so that works properly and satisfactorily at audio frequency range from 20 hertz to 20 kilobytes and the other one is iron core or powdered iron which works at radio frequencies they are comfortably working at radio frequencies then you have another one that is ferrite or iron core or powdered so these type of material are used at IF frequencies that is intermediate frequency both in television and radio receivers so in radio receivers the IF frequency will be 455 kilohertz and normal in television it is 33.4 and 38.9 megahertz is the IF frequency in television so at these frequencies they can use either ferrite core air core or powdered iron core whereas at radio frequencies also we use only air core or powder code and for low frequencies that is audio we compulsorily have to use laminated core laminated iron core is used even at below that at normal main transformer is at 50 hertz so power transfers they are all laminated iron model so we will see some models here which is laminated iron so the laminated iron will be like this you can see that is E and I. So wire is bound on the bobbin and then this core is linked on. On the left side you can see that is a transformer set at 17.4 volts AC and 2 amps of current and working at 50 hertz. So this is most of the time the audio frequency and this is actually a power transformer. So this is how it looks like in the real life. Let us see the next one. So here comes the air core or the power iron that is working at radio frequencies so you can see the middle one the red looking one that is actually the main core or the, i mean sorry that is a main coil that is used even the right side one is oil whereas there is a iron rod inside that and next to that is the ferrite rods that are used to bind it but normally air core or powder iron core are used and RF frequency range and there is one more model we can see over here now let us see what happens or how the things will be there at ferrite or air core and powder core so which are used at higher frequency ranges right or air core or powdered iron are used at high frequency ranges as i was telling and here you have a model which is practically an am ferret rod so this is how it looks like so this is a tie of or rf ranges that is used let us see the summary so till now what we have seen let us conclude and see what we have discussed so far in this summary we have discussed about the different types of core materials that are used at different frequencies and the main let us have a small quiz to just check our memory the main purpose of the using core is in a transfer is to one decrease iron losses prevent eddy current losses eliminate magnetic hysteresis, hysteresis or to decrease the reluctance of the common magnetic circuit but the main purpose of using a core it is to decrease the reluctance of the common magnetic circuit so as i told that's the reason why we have some design content and we'll be cutting the tyrant block into laminated sheets and so on then the frequently asked questions from the exam point of view list the types of core materials that are used at different frequency ranges this is what actually is expected sometimes you can get in a example of you so so far we have actually studied about the different types of core materials and then the frequency ranges related to 
uh, material that is used as a core at that particular frequency and also we have seen few applications where actually they are used in the practical field so with this we will come to an end we conclude here thank you very much for being here thanks a lot